One thing I do want to point out is that all Jeeps come with this little tool kit that you can use to take off the doors, the roof, and the windshield. Now, if I took apart the doors and the windshield, I would definitely lose all the nuts and bolts, but there is a hidden area right here under the cargo area where you can put them in an organized manner, and they are labeled door hinges, roof, and windshield. That's a cool Easter egg. Speaking of Easter eggs, Jeep is known to hide a lot of Easter eggs throughout their vehicles, and the Wrangler has a lot of them. That said, let's do a quick rapid fire session covering as many as I can find. First up, you have a graphic of these sandals right here. What are these for? This is actually a shout out to Jeep enthusiast and journalist Rick Payway. Apparently, Rick loves wearing sandals wherever he goes and that's why you see these here. Wrangler Rubicons have a bunch of flat fender willy shout outs all around. You'll see a silhouette of them on each wheel depending on the wheels you get. I don't have them here but you'll definitely see one on the windshield right here and you'll also see one on the shifter right there. You'll see one in the back of the middle of the floor mats right here and if your Wrangler Rubicon is optioned out with adaptive cruise control you'll see a willies as the vehicle in front of you that you're keeping a safe distance from. All right, so you see these seven slots right here under the windshield. Well, these right here mimic the seven slots on the front grille that have sort of become Jeep's defining design element. In fact, you'll notice they have removed the Jeep logo altogether on the front because this design cue has become so iconic. Pop open the hood and take a closer look and you'll see seven slots right here and one right there. There's one on each side. Look right above the rear view mirror and boom, seven slots. You'll also see seven slots on the back of the tailgate where you can actually hook on your camping gear. Oh, and not to mention, there's a cup holder right here for when you're tailgating kind of all by yourself because there's only one cup holder. You also have a graphic showing the wheelbase and water fording dimensions right there with a shout out to Toledo, Ohio, where Jeeps are built. If you have a JL Wrangler, you'll find some Morse code. In this box right here, you'll see the letters JL and right under it, you'll see Morse code for JL. Why Morse code? Well, because the original Jeeps were military vehicles. Now, if you take a closer look at the floor mats, you'll see some kind of an off-road map printed on top. You'll also see a graphic of a shovel and pick along with the skull of a dinosaur, which I don't know what it really means, but I'm guessing it's a shout out to Jurassic Park since Jeep Wranglers were used in the movie to go inside the park and run away from dinosaurs. So that's kind of weird. Now, once you start up your Wrangler Rubicon 392, you'll see a graphic of an old Willys transform into a modern Jeep. Now look again closely and you'll see a tiny little Jeep drive across the screen. You'll also see a tiny Jeep drive across the screen when you activate your off-road pages with the words, maybe lost, but never stuck. Now, a lot of people don't know this one, but these three little spokes on the steering wheel are a nod to the old Jeep steering wheels from 1941, which had three spokes. Now that's really all that I could spot, so if I missed a few, let me know in the comments because I would love to know.